Hey, Ron with another bass lesson. This is Flirting with Disaster by Molly Hatchet, one of my favorite tunes and one of my favorite bands. Um, it's in E and uh, it starts out the guitars do their little uh, open E string intro thing. Da -da 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 -da, and then you come in with an E minor chord. Which is on the 14th fret, A and D strings and your open E. At the end of that sequence, you're going to do a climb down from E leading into the first chord of your verse chord sequence, which is A. So it's 12th fret, 10th, and 9th fret, and then down to the open A, which is where the, which is where I, where I play the, the verse thing. So it's... Or, or you can hit the 5th string if you want in that particular time of the rundown. Okay, but the first note of the verse is A, so I find it easy to hit the open because the A, um, behind the A, what I play is open A, G, F, and open E. So, so again, the rundown is 12, 10, 9, Open A. So the 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 verses is A, and then G, A. And it's just uh, it's triads. It's major triads on the G and, and the A. One, three, and five of the chord. So on the G, you're on third fret, top string, and then you're on two and five notes of a major G chord and then you're on five, four, and seven, and the four and seven is on is on the A string. So the phrasing Okay. And then um, the other part behind the singing is it goes to B. It's just a B, um, B on the seventh, and then on the ninth fret you got the um, the fifth and the octave of the B, which is the two next strings down. And I pluck them just like that. And then you get the octave on the fifth fret D and the seventh fret last string. So the whole phrasing of it is like All right, so I I only play I play the octave on the on the D and then on the fifth string A I only play the 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 root note. That sounds best and feels best to my judgment. So And then, uh, what else? It's hard. It's, it's always hard to do these things when you're not playing it with the song. There's um, there's a part on the B there where it's so that 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 part, that climate part you hear, you're on the B on the on the seventh top string all, you hit it, and then you're going chromatically up from 5 up to the D on the 10th fret. Okay. If you listen to the record, you'll hear, you know, how it how it fits in. Um, and then there's the pre-solo part. You know, it does the restart thing. And then um, which is just that E minor, we've already done that. And then this, the pre-solo part is uh, it's E chord, and I just play the octave on the seventh fret and the open string. And I play the octave of the D. Okay, so you're playing um, E, D, A, and then climbing back up to E. So it's... A 
octave, and then climbing A is five, and then on the A string it's two, three, five, and back to seven at the E. So to play the whole thing. So on the solo part, um, you're playing E to D and then turning around basically on A with a climb up to E again. So you're, when you're playing A, and you're going to play the same pattern on A and D, you, you, you're going you're to start on the 7th fret, and you're going to play 5 to 4, and when you're on the D, you're playing 5, 3, 2. So, turnaround lick is sort of an A major type of a thing. All right, because you, you're working your way back up to playing the E again. So the lick is starting on five on the top string. So it's uh, five and then one string down onto the A string, four, seven and then you're playing four and five, four, two on the D string. And then again, it's a bit of a do, re, mi thing, right? So, you, so on, then after that, you go f on the A string alone, seven, five, Four, two, open, two, four, five. And certainly, if you feel like you want to stick a more uh, bluesy minor tone in there and it sounds good to you, go for it. So to me, the whole thing sounds very major around that part. So the whole section there with the with the solo. all the parts because after it's done with that it goes back into the B you know D A thing um, the end of the song is just um, on the seventh fret so just seven six and five And it ends on the E chord. So, love this tune, man. Hope you do too. Hope that was helpful. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.